Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everybody, my name is Ilham and welcome to Amar Ilham channel Today I'm gonna show you how to create backlog report automatically The first I'm gonna show you the manual backlog In here we have data that is remain production and this is the due date for that remain production the, Before I continue to the calculation I'm gonna show you, I want to define what the definition of backlog. Backlog is everything that is outstanding production that's not been finished and has the due date that's been promised to the customer. If due date is on the current month, that's called backlog this month or I mean zero. If the due date is last month, that is called DOI minus one. And if the backlog is minus two month previously, I called that to be on M minus two. And if the backlog is uh, for the next month due date, I called that be on M plus one. And if the backlog is two months after this month, I call that be on M plus two. The definition of the backlog or the the mention of the backlog can be differ from the one company to another company. It can be said that backlog is the all backlog. This month can be said as S0 and for the next month is S1 and two months later is S plus 2. And the backlog previously can be said as BOM and BOM plus M minus 1. So, to make the, the same perception, I'm gonna use the backlog for this month is BOM minus 0, and the previous month is BOM minus 1, and longer than BOM minus 2 is uh, the more duration. Uh, longer than one month before if the due date is next month is BOM plus one or and if the due date is more than one month it can be two months three months or four months I say that BOM plus two so first I'm gonna make it manually the function is we use the function sum if as and First, we show the remain production like this one and use the string function f4 and comma and then the definition uh, for the m-2 that is here because today I make this on the September 10th so I'm gonna use the function m-2 that means less than and today is uh, September and this is the August and this is less than August so date 2022 August 1 and the item name is in the column B and then use the string function here and use the reference in G3 here and use the string before the letter of G and you can drag it down to here and copy sorry copy it and paste it on the next column like this use the Value special as a formula here, and for the M 
minus one that means the duration is the last month only on because today is I write down the today function here today is September 10th so this is in August so to define it as, as August it should be less than July 1st 2022 and comma and copy this cell this reference less than July 1st should be changed to less than September 1st but this is more than and equals to and date 2022 August 1st and then close bracket and this is the last month backlog what about the current backlog is less than October 1st and copy this reference until this one comma and change it to more than and equals to September 1st and copy and then paste function on the lower level and then for the next month is less is less than September October so less than November 1st less than November 1st copy this function and then comma and paste it and close bracket more than and equals to more than and equals to next month is October 1st October 1st until end of October and then close bracket copy and then paste a formula and the lower cell as and this is the next month and for the more than one month it means that more than and equals to this is September October and this is November November 1st Okay, and now imagine that your supervisor or your leader need the data of backlog data fast and this is uh, the first date of the month. You use this function and you write down it manually, it can be mistaken. For example, for BOM-1, you forget to change the date here. So it become the BOM minus two. So that's not valid anymore. So to avoid that mistaken, you should use the automatic backlog report by using helper eomont. I'm gonna show you the eomont function here. Eomont for this month, end of month. Eomont and start date is today. And because this one is, I use the function zero. And today is September and 10th, the end of month of September is September 13, 2022. For the last month, I use the EO function equals EO month. Started is today. And the month is minus one. As August 31st in 2022 so he omen and the next month is he omen today and then close bracket comma and this one is month 
this is the end of month for the next month so how to make it the function automatically I use the function the sum it as the same function and if the reference is on column C here until here and then close bracket sorry and then give the string function comma the reference is still the same is in column B here and the reference is in G graph here use the string function before the letter of G and then I use the date do date criteria here and the criteria for the current month backlog is more than and equals to the date is uh, more than August 2022 because today is uh, on September so I use the function and e amount today comma minus one and use the additional because this is the equals function here use the plus one and for the end of the month I use the function copy the reference on column D to until D21 here copy and then paste here and use the eomon function comma less than and equals to and e of month and because e of month today is included so i'm gonna use the only e of month and the 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 day is zero because this is the current month and plus bracket here and then is the result i got from the current backlog what about the previous month backlog copy it the paste function formula in here paste this formula here and change the reference here minus one is changed to minus two and zero is changed to minus one and this is the logical for the last one is here is here and you can see e all month today minus two means that uh july 31st 2022 because i want to show the last month backlog data so it started from august 1st that is e a month two months ago or two months previously plus one day that's mean august 1st 2022 in here we can see the e a month today minus one that means until august 31st and 2022 and for the longer duration one month previously and more and more and more two months three months four months previously you can copy and paste it in here and use the reference here change the reference less than And use the e oman today less than this is september august so august is a minus one is less than or equals to and equals to today minus two and delete this and close bracket and copy this function to here and this is the backlog two months previously and more so for the next month just copy this one sorry copy
copy this one and paste it to here paste it to here and change this into e element m minus 1 this is m0 and today this is 0 and change to 1 copy and paste it here And for here, today, minus 1 is changed to 0 and then this one is 1. Because this is more than and equals to a amount today plus 1 day, so I'm not using the less than function here. I'm going to use this function. And you can see the result for the two months later and more. The result is the same with the manual backlog in here. So that's all today for the automatic backlog. If the date is changed, uh, if from the today is I change to the next month, it will be automatically changed to the ER month logical function so if you have any question regarding to this video or you have a problem with excel word or even google sheet please write down on the comment below god willing i will answer it on the next video thank you for watching assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh